what is the fish to plant ratio in our aquaponic system? And we're focusing on a small little barrel aquaponic system here. Fish to plant ratio, how do we work that out? Fish to plant ratio. The first thing, when we're, especially when we're talking about a little barrel aquaponic system, is you need to have enough fish to provide your veggies, but we don't want an, too many fish that it's going to be bad for the fish. What do I mean by bad? We don't want the fish to be overcrowding. Overcrowding is not good for them on a health perspective. They can get very stressed if they're overcrowded. So identifying with your aquarium store, so just any pet shop, shop any pet store aquarium, you can ask them, I'm wanting to put goldfish or comets or guppies or, or whatever you're wanting to put, tetras or whatever, in the aquaponic system. How many can I put in there based on the filter? And so for a 200 litre tank, which is what my drum is for this particular fish tank, uh, aquaponic system, they might say, right, you're going to start off with fish that big, but by the time they get that big, you're only going to want a maximum of 10 in there. Okay, so the first question here is how do we work out how many fish? It's based on your filtration, but it's also based on the size of the tank. We don't want too many fish that causes stress. Stress leads to disease. Disease leads to death and massive issues within our aquaponic system. So what we're wanting to do is we want to ask our professionals, and generally small system it is going to be some type of goldfish. Freshwater, remember? Freshwater. <laughs> We're going to ask them how many we can have. So just hypothetically, based on whatever fish you're getting, they say 10. How do we work out how many plants I can put in there? This is where we, we need to understand what water quality talks about. So this is a freshwater master test kit. And in it, it has test kits for pH, ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. Now, it's specifically the nitrate tests that we want to know about because within aquaponics, being an ecosystem, we have nitrifying bacteria within our aquaponic system. So that means that just like everywhere in nature, whenever there is ammonia is produced, which is what happens with anything decomposing and breaking down, you have two bacteria that happen, nitrosomona and nitrobacca. So bacteria one, bacteria two. Bacteria one converts ammonia into nitrite, Still toxic for fish, just the same. And our freshwater test kit tests for the ammonia and for the nitrite. The second bacteria converts the nitrite into nitrate with an A. It's the nitrate, and we're gonna turn it around. So we have the ammonia test, and that shows us when there is ammonia present. The first bacteria converts the ammonia into nitrite. The second bacteria converts nitrite into nitrate. It is the nitrate readings which tell us how many plants we can have. So based on the amount of fish that I have in my system with having cycled, so colonized my aquaponic system with all of the different bacteria, that means that I now have zero ammonia, zero nitrite, which is, means we've cycled our system, fully colonized with bacteria, and now I have consistent nitrate readings. And it is our nitrate reading that shows us how many plants we can have. So I have a fair few plants in here, but I've also got nitrate readings that are up at 80 parts per million. So right down the bottom here, which is okay for the fish. The fish are okay with that. But that means that, I'm, that the fish are producing a lot of waste and I don't have a lot of vegetables that are taking up that waste at the moment. So there's too much nutrients for the, for the amount of fish waste that's being produced. So I can now add another seedling or two. Now remember, when we add a small seedling, it won't use as much nitrate as a larger vegetable. So my spinach, for instance, this particular one will be using a lot more nitrate compared to these tiny little basil that are at the back here. And as I know that they're growing, they're gonna start using a lot of that nitrate. So while I could sit there and work out how much I could add, as I've got it around that 80 parts per million of nitrate, and this is just one of the reagent bottles, but we see it says nitrate 
and also tells us how many drops. To know how to colonize your system, there are videos on that on my channel. But I know that I've added four small coriander, which you can kind of see here, and that they've taken a week to adjust to water life living in the aquaponics system, and they're going to start kicking in using a lot of that nitrate. But how we work it out is that that fish to plant ratio is by our nitrates. Not our ammonia, not our nitrite, it's how much nitrate. You need to have nitrate in your system to be able to grow your plants. The nitrate is the fertilizer. Without the fertilizer, none of the plants will grow. Plants won't just grow on water. They need to have some type of fertilizer in there. And in the case of aquaponics, the nitrate is your key fertilizer. Yeah, how cool is that? You son of a fucking 